Vocap ready. And action! I think the thing that people need to keep very strongly in mind is that this is not an animated film. These actors did not just stand at a lectern and do a voice part, and then animators went off for the next two years and created the entire physicality of their performance. The most exciting thing is, it is my performance. This thing walks and talks and acts like me. It's my interpretation. Every nuance, every tiny bit of the performance that you see on the screen was created by the actors. They had to run, they had to leap, they had to fight, they had to do all the things that you see them doing in the film. And that's where the power of the performance comes from. It's not just we're capturing emotion, we're trying to capture what's the intent of the actor. Let's go! What CGI technology does is it replaces prosthetics. Actors can now play any character that's designed in the computer without going through hours and hours of makeup. And what we get is their performance coming through the CGI character. Performance captures the technique where you try to capture the performance of an actor and translate it to a digital character. Prior to them even moving out into the performance capture world, we put the actors inside this giant sphere covered with lights and we could photograph them and study their facial features and try to understand how to design their characters. This is great. And then you put an actor in a suit with markers on the suit. We put you in a spatial volume, using a lot of cameras all around to record the motions of all the markers. The computer is creating a real-time moving skeleton of you. From that skeleton, you now can drive a computer-generated character. The intent is to capture the entire performance of the talent. We're recording tons of high-definition reference from all these different angles so that we can really get those subtle nuances. The part that we had to create during the making of this film was the facial image-based performance capture technology that allowed what the actors did to 100% translate to what you see the characters doing. So we came up with this idea that we would actually have a little boom, and on the end of that boom, there'd be a little tiny camera, and it would image the face while the actor was working. What we're trying to do is take what the actor is doing emotionally in any given scene and to translate that into the characters. And we do that by using their muscles. It gives us a way to correspond emotion to what you actually see expressed in the character's face. It was a very, very exciting time where we realized that we had rounded that corner and that we had true human emotion captured and performed by a non-human character. But they sent me here to learn your ways. What are you saying, Jake? You knew this would happen? Yes. Basically, you've got 190 infrared cameras looking down on you. There's nowhere to hide, so every take you have to be truthful. I think people expected the actors to find it more difficult, but we're always doing make-believe anyway, so pretending that nothing is everything is second nature to us. What about this one? Run, don't run. Run, definitely run! It takes you back to the old theater days where you may just have one chair in the middle of your little black box theater and you have to imagine everything that's going on around it. You've got to just let go of all of the things that you thought was supposed to happen and just do it. Let your imagination run. You get so deep into this world that you start hearing, seeing, feeling Pandora. That happened from day one that I walked on this set. I had to take everything I learned in training and apply it to my first day. It helps you detach from the fact that you're shooting a movie. You're able to really dig into your character. <laughs> It's not animation. It's capturing the avatar version of Norm. Even though I'm big nine foot tall and blue, it's got my personality. It's got my soul. That's quite spectacular that a computer-generated image can do that. And that really surprised me. The door has just barely been opened on what's possible with this. One of the things that I'm always going to take with me is the fact that I was a part of a revolutionary experience in Hollywood.